Hi, my name is Don Jessup. I'm the owner of Silicon Valley Associates, a residential real estate company in Silicon Valley. And welcome to our weekly update. We've had some questions from the public and from our agents a little bit more about what does it mean when you buy a property as is. There seems to be some confusion with agents and with people who are buying properties as is. And one of the questions that people ask is, does it mean that I'm stuck? with whatever as is is, whatever the problems with the property are. It uh, doesn't mean um, I don't have any rights at all. The, the answer to these questions are simple. When you buy as is, you're buying as is represented. And I wanted not to hit this too many times in a row in the, in the last few weeks, but I really wanted to drill down on what it means. Does it mean that I buy the property with every defect that it comes with? The answer is no. Do I have any rights whatsoever or am I just stuck with the property? The answer is no. Can I get inspections when I buy as is with no work to be done? The answer is yes. When I buy a property as is represented, that's exactly what it means is as represented to me by the sellers and the agents and the people who are involved. And if I buy a property that is totally good, meaning you have the stoves and the ovens and the water, water heaters and the heaters and all of the things that go with the property, if they say that they're in good working order, when the property closes, you have a right to have those things in good working order. You also have the right, even if you're buying it as is, to go ahead and get a property inspection, a termite inspection, a roof inspection, a chimney inspection, uh, maybe a pool inspection or a, a spa inspection. You may not have the right to ask for those things to be fixed, but you have the right to know what condition those things are in. And if they've represented to you that they are working at the close of escrow, they should work. That doesn't mean that you get taken for everything else. What are the remedies? Let's say I buy a property and I find out in the walkthrough five days before we close that the stove isn't working and they said it was, or the water heater's not working and they said it was. Well, you have a right to have those things fixed and if the seller won't do it, you should still go ahead and close the transaction, but you should be asking the seller to fix those items or if they won't fix those items and they're represented that they were working when you bought the property, then you have a right to go to small claims court and a number of other actions to get those things reimbursed to you and you need to get them fixed. And so when you buy a property as is, you're not stuck. You're buying it as is represented. The second question that we've been getting asked as a buyer, because buyers seem to be having to uh, do things that they would not necessarily do in uh, what's called a normal market. We have a very hot seller's market. And the question that comes up over and over and over and over is what happens if the seller doesn't move out? Um, and, and if you don't have in your contract a rental agreement or a, an agreement that they can, the seller can stay in the property after it closes and that type of thing, if your contract states that on the date that you record at noon or at five or whatever time you um, specified in your contract that the seller would be out on that day of recording, then you have a right to have them out the day of recording or you need to renegotiate with them. If they just say we're not getting out um, until Monday or we're not getting out till Friday and you're supposed to close before that, well, you may not have the obligation or the um, expectation to close until they're out unless you negotiate some type of contract. And if you say they're going to be in for five days, you specify how much, maybe you get a deposit uh, that's left in escrow to cover uh, any damages that might happen when they get out. But know this for sure, that any time that you have a rent back situation after the close, you are now the owner, you are now a landlord, and they are a tenant. And they have all of the rights that normal tenants would have. So if they won't get out of the property by the close of escrow, which is per your contract, and you negotiate some time after the contract, your only remedy may be to, let, to evict them. And if you don't want to evict them, then don't let them stay. Or if you don't have a negotiated rental agreement in place before you get into contract, you may have issues and they may have rights and you may have to seek the help of an attorney or an eviction service to get the seller out of the property. 
because now they are tenants, you are an owner, they have the full rights of any other tenant. So be careful when you're going into an escrow and the seller says, I need five more days, or I need 10 more days, or I need a month. Put a rental agreement into place, have a deposit, and know that they have the full rights of any other tenant you may have to evict them to get them out. Again, thank you for coming to uh, Silicon Valley Associates and our weekly update. Have a great week.